In order for this to be clean, a little baron or washer needs to go. But it's not you got anything to get a hold of to knock it out. Dirty cast. I want to finish up this motor I started yesterday. Been looking for that. Let's talk about you. Let's talk about me. It's raining. I figured it's a good time to come in my shop and do some straightening up. Why not? Get my benches back in order. I got to get this thing hooked up eventually. That's probably going to help me with my motors. Haven't done it yet, but I plan on it. That is the plan, Stan. Aluminum, goodness. Old oil can. Old leveler. And GoPro stuff. Brook and glass. My amazing piece of copper that Sculler Metals made for me. I love it. Love it. Thank you, Sculler. This goes to. Absolutely nothing that I have. <coughs> wow, 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 wow. Be careful, Grandpa, you hurt yourself. You need them every once in a while. Let's talk about you, let's talk about me. New blades I got. Go yonder. Go yonder. There's a spot for them somewhere there, dude. Go yonder. I'm trying to get my shop half ass organized. I've been just uh, trying not to throw any of this stuff away. I am getting ready to hook up my winch on my trailer i keep saying that but eventually i'm gonna do it i might need them to do it look at that little piece of copper didn't even know it was in there copper that's right, recycling. Go check out his channel. He says, Mo Cup of Mo Money. Who else says that? Jimbo Scrapper. Go check him out. Mo Money. Mo Cup of Mo Money. I need to get me a little wish broom. 
so I can sweep that stuff off instead of uh, blowing it off and then it just goes everywhere. I have something in my shoe driving me friggin crazy. I'm about to get mad about it. Can't find it, but it keeps poking me in the foot. Let my shoe off ten times. Trash, trash, mo trash. I'm gonna bring these pieces to the scrap yard. See if they'll hit it with their radar gun and figure out what it is. It's heavy, but it's not lead. Kind of got me curious. Not lead, but I'm going to put them right down there for now out of my way. What do they weigh? These things are uh, pretty hefty, and I don't know what they're made of. Doesn't seem to be lead. Yeah, that's ten pounds, seven ounces, right there. I got three of them. Twenty pounds, three ounces. Yeah, twenty-nine point three ounces total, and I don't know what it is. Definitely not lead, somewhat magnetic. I'm thinking maybe there's some steel in that lead or something. Don't know what it is. I'm trying to keep all my stuff halfway organized. Halfway somewhat, I should say. Halfway somewhat. Scrap my grandpa. They are Phillips. They sure are Phillips. But in super bad shape. Let's see if we can make this happen. Last night I was looking at it, I couldn't even tell. They were Phillips bits. Don't think I'm going to have to cut. Don't think I'm going to have to cut that. I'm thinking a hammer or an axe. Chop it a couple of places. Motor should come out the inside. I'm, and it's heavy. There's a lot of copper in this thing. Guarantee it. Come on. It's always the last one, right? I 
always the last one. Doesn't want to come off. Always the last one. You know what that means. Hammer time. Hammer time. Got it. Little bugger. Bugger. Nice. Nice aluminum. Right there. Brass nugget. Oops, piece of wire. Never actually seen anybody take one of these copper casings apart. <clears throat> I think I wish I had a hatchet. I need a hatchet or something. I don't actually even think I own a hatchet. But I do got goggles because aluminum can can shatter. So I'm gonna put on some safety equipment here. Excuse me. Better to be safe than sorry. Thinking I want to crack it. Speaking of being safe, let's get out the glove box. The glove box. I hate messing up my fingers anymore. I did that for a long time. I'm tired of it. All right, baby, please. Let's see what happens. I thought, I thought it would crack. But it's not gonna do it. Dang gum it. Alright, means I need the grinder. Which is of course in the car, in the truck. Let's see if the sawzall will do it. Might have to put it up in the vise. It cracked. Yeah. Come on, baby. Let's get this cord out of the way here. Yeah. Motor. Motor. Look at there. Extrusion. Nice piece. Now we got this beautiful motor that we'll add to the motor pile, but 
since I'm probably going to be doing a few of them motors today, I'm going to throw it on the side. Boy, I got my work cut out for me. I gave one of these to uh, Gulf Coast, and he tore it down. I tried to get that end off. I couldn't do it. I'm thinking uh, Sawzall on the shaft. What do you think? I'd love to open it up today. That's about what I'm working on. But that shaft is in there. Can't get the bolts out. Don't even know if my sawzall blade will reach in there that far, and it won't. Nope. See what I got for blades over here. Sawzall blades long. Come on, baby. Well, I guess I take my glove off and get it. I don't think that's any longer than the one I got on there. Oh, maybe it is. Just a little bit. Don't really need much. See what we got here. Let's see what we got here. Here we go. Man, that took a couple batteries, but I was persistent, and we got it. All right, that's a big boy. That is a big boy. Hey. All right, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Next. <whistles> Gulf Coast, you got that music video you sent me this morning in my mind can't get it out saved saved the nuts and bolts i have had this motor for over a year i actually had one, two, three of them. No, four of them. I gave, I think I gave two of them to Gulf Coast and Scrapping the Scorpion. <sighs> or Scorpion Metals. Draining, it's pouring. The old man is snoring. Bumped his head and he went to bed. Couldn't get up in the morning. That's Allen Wrench. That is an Allen. And of course, I pulled out my buddies, Jimbo Scrapper at YouTube. Found what I needed. All right, oh, big boy, big boy.
throw that thing on the scale. What kind of weight we got here. This thing is hefty. Shred. Last night I fought like heck. Get that off. My other. Yeah. little plastic thing but it's got to come off completely oh that motor's not coming apart time come on mate I know you want to get back over here oh yeah beautiful I do want to throw it on the scale though, still. See what the motor weighs. What does that motor weigh? It's a beast! If it wasn't raining, I would be at two of my honey holes today. I got two honey holes ready to be picked up. Let's see what we got here. What do we have, my name? Sue, what do we do? That motor all by itself. 43.6. Wow. It is a beast. What a beast. Um, that's, that's right, recycling. I gave him a couple of these. I know he took them apart. Oh, phone's going off. All right, now we got it to this far. Somehow or another, these ends got to come off. This is solid, stinking steel. He's massive, heavy, heavy steel. Make sure I got all my screws out before I start trying to knock one of these things off. All right, put the goggles back on. I've got some beating to do. Got some nice movement here. Beautiful. Beautiful. Look at that. Some goodness. Some goodness right there. thinking I would like for that piece to come off it should yes sir
solid steel. That's heavy. And if you throw it into your prepared steel, somewhere is around 13 cents a pound for that. Somewhere. Save that. All right. Seems like the other end should come off about the same way. There you go, baby. Look at there. Let me weigh them things. I got two pieces of prepared steel off of there. Two pieces of heavy steel. 6.5 pounds times 13 cents, right there. That's not bad. This, I'll turn that in as heavy steel. And that is another 8.3 pounds times 13 cents. Now, I still have the inside of this motor left. That thing's going to be a beast to cut open. Oh yeah! What do we got left here? We got 28.5 pounds. 28.4 pounds. But, wow. In order for me to get my copper out of there, I got to get that out. Whew. I'm not sure how that's going to happen. Every other motor I've been cutting the casing. This one here might have to be hit with a sledgehammer. That's, I was hoping that steel would just crack right there. Yes, sir. You got to crack. Let's see if we can crack it someplace else. That's correct. What else can we crack? Maybe there, maybe. There we go. Look at there. Look at there, guys. Another piece of heavy steel. <coughs> Five pounds even. Get the rest of this thing off there. Come on, baby. Motor. 11.1. Let's get this stuff out of here. See what we got in that motor for heavy steel. Heavy. This is all 13 cents a pound if you bring it in like this. We got 17.5. 25.7 pounds times 13 cents. Not bad. Not bad. Now let's see. Let's see what that motor weighs. Pretty stuff right there, baby. Look at that. Cleaned it up a little bit more. A couple of these wires off of there. Shred. Oh yeah, what's this motor weigh? Oh, we got two points here. Let me tar out. 17 pounds. <clears throat> if I'm going to turn in a motor, I'm never going to turn in a motor like this. Never. Because that's clean. That's way too clean to turn it in like that. 
So if you was going to turn it in as a motor, you'd leave all that on there together and get you 25 cents a pound. But this is worth 25 cents a pound, plus all them other pieces of 25 cents a pound. I'll cut this off right here because that's some pretty copper right there, and it is pretty sure. Pretty sure we got some copper. Oh my goodness, yes, that's pretty. So let's put that over there with my other one I took apart this morning. Yeah. And I do have quite a few of these. And let's see, maybe we'll grab a something like this. That's different. Never tore one of these apart either. Let's get at it. Oh, goes all the way through. Yep. side the other side is flat with a piece of plastic shroud covering it So, being where it starts turning immediately on me, I can see that screw right there, so I'm going to hold it. Hold it still. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> All right. Uno. Turn that thing. Not wanting to turn too good. Yeah. There it is. Some big old bolts. Heavy steel right there. All right. What else? Got a nut on the other end of it. There you go. A piece of brass. is in there in my way. They do. All these things got little nuts on the inside. I can get something in there to hold the nut. Hold the nut. If I even need to, I don't know. Let's see if it will come apart without it. Seems to be. Come on, baby, I know you want to. Took my gloves off again. Eh? No, 
don't think that's coming apart that easy. I believe, I believe. There we go. Another pop. Cast. Nice piece of cast. There you go here. Half a pound of cast metal right there. That's 20 cent all by itself. At 40 cents. I think cast, I might even be getting around 50 cents. What are you guys getting? Answer that in the comments. Oh yeah, one of them. Let's see what I got now. I've seen people take the copper out of these things. I have seen people take the copper out of these things. Matter of fact, they had a whole bunch of them. I don't know if they were quite that big. Let's see if the other end comes off. I don't think so though, because it's got a big old shaft on it right there. Oh, here we go. Come on, baby. Look at that. Look at that. Is that a magnet? It's a magnet. Look at that. Should be another one in there. Oh man, that's a magnet for sure. Look at that magnet. Magnetron. Boom! Sometimes these things will crack and try to get them loose. I was surprised to see that one fall out like it did. Oh, she just shattered into a hundred pieces. Look at there. Oh, shattered magnet. Shattered. Shattered. I might can save a couple pieces. Big old magnet. You never know when you need a magnet. The rest of it I'm going to throw in the shred pile. Exploded. Not like I don't have enough magnets already. Uh oh. Uh oh. Yeah. Never know. Heavy steel. Piece of heavy steel right there with a magnet in it. What's that heavy steel? This is heavy. 13 cents a pound. We got four pounds. Four pounds. And then, we got this boy. I can tell you that getting the copper out of these things is not easy. Not easy. I've seen people where they burn this thing because that's uh, got some pretty heavy plastic on it or something. And they cut it right here around the whole thing, take that piece, and then they burn this part and it just pulls right out the other side. But this one has a big shaft on it. Thinking I'd have to cut that shaft off. We're going to set that aside. Something different. Something different. Something different. What else have we got in the motor box? Yeah. This thing has a plug-in on it. it has a plug-in on it? Are you kidding me? Let's see if it wakes. Oh, yes. Look at that. Beautiful motor. Ooh, boy, it works. How do you throw something like that away? Hmm. Well, I guess I'm going to show you how. 
I'm going to show you how you throw something like that away. Away we go. Somebody has told me that if I had an operating motor it works that I shouldn't scrap it. Honestly, I don't know what else to do with it. I don't know what else to do with it. Yeah, it runs. And they sell the crap out of these things that Southern metal. If you didn't see my resale store video, you should probably go check that out. Check that out. There's some goodness over there. I think I'm cutting that shaft off. Yes, I am. Cut that shaft off. It's going to make it come apart. I think a little bit easier. Oh, not with a dead battery, I'm not. Beautiful. That didn't take much. That's a piece of heavy steel. I'd save that right in my half a pound. Six cents. I'll take six cents over um, over a lot less. Thinking that should pop off of there. That should pop off of there. Oh yeah. Beautiful. It's still dirty. Unless I can knock that centerpiece out. Let's see what we got here. Do it like that. Thank goodness for a massive vice. Thank you, father in law. Rest in peace, my friend. Come on, baby. I know you want to. Come on. Grinder. That's what I'm seeing. Grind up. Or, or maybe, maybe just maybe, a socket.
don't think it's going to go that way. That's going to have to be ground. Not coming out that way. For now, it's a piece of dirty cast aluminum. For now. Now. Let's see what we can do with the rest of this. Another motor. Turn this into some clean cast here before it's over. See if I can get that piece off of there. I save all my little wires. A bucket right down there. This piece actually has. Piece of copper on it. Let me get that. Yeah. That copper. That is magnetic. That is copper. Oh. Well, also, there's a, a couple um, silver beads on there, which I do not mess with. It's a piece of silver for sure. I'll save that copper bead right down here for a scrap of scorpion. Ain't much. There's still scorp uh, scorpion metals, I should say. Oop. Little bead on there. I'll save that for him. Any more? A little bit of metal on that. That can be considered shred. Yeah. 